हेलो स्टूडेंट माय नेम इज सोनाली हितेश राउत असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर इन सीकेटी आर्ट्स कॉमर्स एंड साइंस कॉलेज पनवेल टुडे वी विल सी अ इंट्रोडक्शन टू अ पाइथन प्रोग्रामिंग लैंग्वेज फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल मूविंग टूवर्ड्स अवर प्रेजेंटेशन एंड दिस सेशन फर्स्ट वी शुड नो अबाउट द प्रोग्रामिंग लैंग्वेज प्रोग्रामिंग लैंग्वेज बेसिकली यूज टू डेवलप एनी सॉफ्टवेयर बिकॉज सॉफ्टवेयर इज नथिंग बट वॉट अ सेट ऑफ अ प्रोग्राम so in this presentation we have to see a python introduction features of python python installation variable data types and conditional construct so first we will move towards a python introduction first of all python is invented in the year of 1991 and it is a popular programming language it is used to develop a software used to develop a any system scripting web development as well as to do a mathematic complex calculation then we will move forward for the features of the python python actually it is a platform independent it means it works on a different platform different platform means it works on a different types of os for example it work on a windows mac os linux means it is called as what a portable in our language it is called as what a portable language next one the feature it include it can be a uh, treated as a procedural way as well as a object oriented way means what proced procedural way means it works as a from top to bottom how you are writing your program object oriented means your program is revolve around your object it also handles a big data as well as a complex calculation it also used to connect your connect to your database system and it also used to create and uh, develop a web application <coughs> next we will move forward for the python idle installation to pro to develop any program in a python you should have a one software of a python which is called as what a idle so how to install that idle in your system these all are the few steps we have to follow first of all open the browser and type python.org website it is a official website of the python you will see this screen uh, screen on your web browser once you see uh, see the screen you will get one menu there that is a download in that download option you will have a different types of a version different types of a operating system including the bit of your os so you have to select as per your requirement and go for your installation install the python installer once it has been installed you have to go for the continue and run your python installer on your system once it has been installed you have to remember that cross check that whether the python idle is properly installed on your system to check that you have to type you have to go to your system in a start menu and type idle python that is a it include the versions of your python when it comes it it means it is successfully run and it is successfully installed on your system then this is the window when you install a python and open a python to write your program now we will see first program in a python it is called as what a variable and data type we have to see because to develop or to create any program in python we should basic knowledge of a python that is a variable and data type means what so variable nothing but what it is just like a name of the person because every person having their name and it is called as what a identify so variable is nothing but what it is the name given to your memory where your data will get stored but when you are creating a variable they should have some rule to follow then what are these rule these rules are it should be a compulsory start with the letter it also include a underscore they cannot start with the number it always remember that it should not start with the number they can be a letters alphabet and underscore but the variables or uh, variables are a case sensitive because i have given one example age capital a g e and capital h are a different three variables okay and python keywords cannot be work or cannot be used as a variable so i have give specify some valid variable and some invalid variable then valid variable means what which are follows this rule are called as what a valid variable these all are the examples of the valid variable then which are the invalid variable the variable these are invalid why because in first variable we have started with the number which is invalid second we have included the dash which is also invalid and third we have included the space that's why it is a invalid variable in next slide <coughs> it is a program that is x is equals to y y is x is equals to 5 y is equals to john if you want to print any value onto the screen or on output screen in python you have to print 
x and y what will be the output output will be the value of x that is phi and value of y that is a john it is a simple program that you have to type in a ideal screen which we have seen earlier next one data type data type nothing but what we have seen the variable but in data type which type of data you are going to store is called as what a data type for example if you want to store your name surname or address you have to include a text data type then you have to make use of which keyword that is a string keyword str if you want to make addition subtraction if you want to perform over a mathematical calculation then you have to make use of a numeric data these are all called as what a data types now we will move forward for the conditional construct conditional construct before developing or creating any program on the conditional basis of conditional construct we should have a idea about variable and data type that just we have seen so we will move forward for the conditional construct conditional construct nothing but what in when you are writing a program there is a such situation where you have to choose either one or two a yes or no in such situation we have to make a decision whether true or false in such situation we have to make use of what a conditional construct i will give one example if you have inputted any number the number which is inputted whether it is even number or odd number means what number will be one but you will have a two option that is consider number five you will have a two option that is a whether it is a odd number or whether it is a even number or number so such situation called as what a conditional based situation and in such situation we have to make use of a conditional construct then which are the keyword or which are the statements are there first one is what a if statement if statement work like if and on the basis of that you have to specify the condition then condition will be either true or false it will be depend on the data that you are going to input in this example a is equals to 33 b is equals to 200 b b nothing but what that is a 200 is greater than 33 condition is what either true or false now tell me what is the condition of um, uh, if statement that is the condition is true if it is true then if block will get execute and it will print b is greater than a that is the output that we are expecting for this enter data <coughs> next one second one that is a elif elif nothing nothing but what if the previous condition were not true then try this condition means elif condition in this example the value of a is equals to 33 value of b is equals to 30 33 we know that both are equals but in the condition in if condition what we have specified that is 33 is greater than 33 means what b is greater than a uh, we know that it is this condition is false so this block will get skip and will move towards the elif in elif a is equals to means what 33 is equals to 33 means what output will be a and b are equal in second that is a third is what else statement else statement is work when else catches anything which is not caught by the preceding condition in the above example a and b values have given if the value of b value of b is nothing but what is a 33 33 is greater than a the value of a is equals to 200 the condition is either true or false in this situation condition is what a false because 33 number is not greater than 200 so it will goes to the elif now in elif again there is a condition a is equals to equals to b means what 33 is equals to 200 is equals to equals to 33 it is also false so it will goes to the else statement and will print a is greater than b <coughs> next if else if is nothing but what there is a if block and there is a else block if condition is true if block will get executed if condition is false else block will get executed it is simple as that of c and c++ programming language now b the value of b is equals to 33 and value of a is equals to 200 this condition is false means what if block will get skip and will move towards for the else block and the value of b is greater than a will get print now we will move forward for the nested if in nested if x is equals to 44 nested if nothing but what we have to include or we have to nest one if into the another if if first if block will get true then second if block will get executed otherwise else block will get executed in our example the value of is equals to 41 so in this condition 41 is greater than 10 condition is what a true that's why it will print about 10 value that look at the output it is the 
about 10. Next, it is true that's why it goes into inside the if log and will print what x is greater than 20. The value of x is 41 greater than 20 means what? It is also true. That's why it print what? And also about 200 means what? If if block executed, else block will not execute. That's why nested if we have to make use when there is a multiple condition, multiple situation will be there to check whether the condition is true or false. Then in such situation, nested if is used. So I think, hope uh, I hope student you understand the concept that is a Python introduction, variable, data type and a logical construct. Thank you very much.